There's a place out in the Japanese countryside where you can see more brands, makes, and models of motorcycles than you can imagine. Even a groundbreaking production-ready prototype Ducati. Riding through the Japanese countryside early in the morning, far as you can get from the urban bustle, can be truly exciting. Especially here in Kyushu, where the sights and smells and terrain change abruptly. There are many ways to travel in Japan, but I love traveling by motorcycle. For me, it's always been the best way to take complete advantage of the experience itself. I've been lucky to see a lot of places, but Yufuin's always been at the top of my list. On a hillside overlooking the valley is a surprising collection of vintage motorcycles called the Iwashita Collection. My name is Dale, and I want to tell you the story about the man who believes we should all learn from history. Iwashita Hiroaki. Iwashita Collection. そうですね、あの、若い頃に自分の人生を作りたいと考えた時期があって、当時日本には<笑> ジープ<笑> 考えた時期が30歳の頃にあって、で、僕はバイクが大好きな人間なので、あの、その時日本にバイクの博物館がなかったんですよ。もし作れたら素晴らしいと思って、それからバイクの博物館を作ろうと決めて、ずっとバイク
But perhaps the most important part of his collection is the network of relationships with people who help him. It was this network that introduced him to his most prized possession, the Ducati Apollo. This Apollo is not the only one in the world. Why is it not the only one in the world? When my friends were in Los Angeles, I was living in Los Angeles. I was living in Los Angeles for 30 years. I was living in Los Angeles. 欲しかったんですねそれで本当に1円もなかったんですよなぜならたくさんバイクを買ってきたからもうお金はそこをついて1円もなかったんですよただし僕には方法がありましたそれは僕の経営する工場の機械を打ってお金をにしてこのアポロを買うことを考えたんですねそして機械がないと仕事ができないので代わりの機械を注文してそして今目の前の機械を打ってあの仕事は3ヶ月分作り込んで後で納入できるように準備をして機械を打って後から新しい機械が入ってなんとかやりくりをすることができたそういうすごくあの大変な思い出があるバイクです。His experience with the Apollo didn't prepare him for what was to come. In 2016, in the past, 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 in the 半分倒れてこのネットにハンドルが引っかかっていました後ろのフェンダーのところが少し引っ込んであとは大丈夫でしたでそれから数日したらボランティアの方が10人ぐらい復興にお手伝いに来てくれてそれでみんなの力でこのバイクを全部起こしてそして1年2ヶ月かかってようやくこのミュージアムが元の状態に戻って皆さんに見てもらえるような。Mr. Iwashita's hometown, Toho Village, is located on a beautiful river. But this river and the rivers that run through the surrounding area can be a source of devastation. In 2017, the rivers flowing through here and other surrounding communities overflowed. Many people lost their homes, and crucial access roads were washed away or buried in landslides. Warning signs of damaged roads were still visible even eight months after the floods. One of Mr. Iwashita's own warehouses was also almost taken away by the flood. <laughs> the river is different now, but Mr. Iwashita has ideas about how to change the area in his own way. With such a unique collection of motorcycles, Mr. Iwashita must have his pick of what to ride. Oh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. A large part of what makes the Iwashita collection what it is is Mr. Iwashita's genuine and outgoing personality. He's enthusiastic about even the smallest pieces in his museum, and he does his best to share them with anyone he can. So it's no surprise that he even let me drive his Ferrari. But parked next to his Ferrari was another interesting find. Mr. Iwashita has a fondness for the philosophy of Soichiro Honda. They both believe that personal contact is the most important part of life because it expands our views to lead us to new experiences. Oh, 13. 13, frame. 
、でエンジンナンバー一番一番一番でそこから見えるんですよエンジンのクランクケースにこのホントが実本当。Well, so、世界中から有名な方がたくさん来ていただいてるんですけど王さんという日本人世界のホームランバッターで756本打って世界一になったあの野球選手ですけど In addition to Osan, the museum is regularly visited by people from all over the world, including the former Prime Minister to Malaysia. Kenny Roberts, the first American to win the GP World Championship, is also one of the museum's most prized visitors. He comes to Kyushu every year to ride, and one of his stops is invariably the Iwashita collection. The Iwashita collection is located just outside Yufuin, overlooking the fields. Many riders and other visitors stop here to enjoy the natural hot springs found throughout the area, or to spend a night in a Japanese inn. From the train station to the shops lining the streets, the whole town is unique. 1年間に400万人ぐらいお客さんが来るところで国立公園の中に囲まれたような街なんですねすごく自然が美しくてそしてあの俗化しない地域づくりに取り組んできたところなんですそこに僕はすごく興味を持って博物館をミュージアムを作るんだったらここだともう30歳の時に決めていました。バイクの博物館を作るのに37年ぐらいかかったかな集めるのにバイクをこの博物館ができて本当にお客さんが来てくれるかなって心配してたんですよそしたら全国日本中それから海外の人たちがたくさん来てくれてすごく喜んでいただけるその笑顔を見て本当にもっともっと面白い博物館にしようとそんなふうに考えてこれからも頑張ります有印の素晴らしい自然の中にある岩下コレクションはこれからも世界中のどこにもない博物館を目指して頑張っていきますので多くの皆さんに感動を伝えたいと思います岩下コレクションに遊びに来てくださいよろしくお願いします Mr. Iwashita's efforts over the years to build something truly special continue to grow. He created a space for all of us to learn from history by preserving the past, present, and future under one roof. This is the reason why many keep it permanently on their list of places to see whenever they go to Yufuin. Please take advantage of this experience. There'll always be something there to make you smile. <laughs>